Hey guys, what's up? This is Render Furry here. And in this video, we're gonna go over and answer the question, are real manufacturers lying to us? Okay, so what are these real manufacturers lying about? Well, you could technically argue that they're lying about a value called IPT or CMPT. IPT stands for inch per turn and CMPT is centimeters per turn. This is actually the amount of line that your reel takes up with every rotation of the reel handle. And how do you calculate this? Well, you need two values. You need the gear ratio of your reel, and then you need the circumference, which can be calculated from the diameter. So I'm not gonna go ahead and explain everything on this chart because it would take a lot of time to do so, but you can see that some reel manufacturers are actually misreporting their spool diameters, which then misreports essentially their, their spool circumference. And then that with the wrong or misrepresented diameter actually will lead to a misrepresented or wrong measured CMPT. I mean, it, technically it's not wrong, but it's less accurate. Anyways, I'm gonna show you an example right now. And so we're gonna go over to this tab in my Google Sheets. And what I did was I took a casking kestrel and basically I laid it on the ground, pointed it straight ahead, uh, measured out using a tape measure from the where the spool or the reel was all the way out to 60 and a half feet. And I counted 26.5 handle rotations and then using the measured or the quote unquote more accurate CMPT, I calculated a distance of 53.12 and that's to the tip of the rod. And then the rod actually is five and a quarter feet from where the reel sits to the rod tip. So if you add those two values together with the new more quote unquote accurate version of CMPT, you get about 58.37 feet, which is pretty close to 60 and a half. Using Casking's IPT converted to CMPT, I was getting 69.51. So you know, you're overrepresenting by about nine feet, which is about 14.89%. And four to 8%, according to Google, is about an acceptable margin of error. So I wanted to try that again, and so I tried 50 feet, and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of show you the actual video of me going ahead and doing that here while I'm kind of talking about it. But anyways, it basically boiled down to 21 and a quarter handle rotations and using the measured CMPT with the rod length, I calculated about 47.84 feet, but with casking CMPT, I got about 56.75. So coming back to this chart, you can kind of see that the margin of error between these two, I'm kind of under reporting with the inner spool diameter used to calculate the CMPT, whereas Casking is over-reporting because they're using the outer diameter of the spool to kind of calculate the circumference. So I'm not really sure whether this is like a marketing ploy because they are over-representing. So say if you cast and then you count your handle rotations, you're gonna think that you actually cast a lot further than you actually did. But anyways, what's even more important than that is actually the consumer wanting to put a certain distance of line onto their newly purchased spool. So what I've gone ahead and done is basically to use the calculated CMPT to calculate how many handle turns it would take to get to 50 meters of line. And 50 meters of line just happens to be the kind of gold standard of uh, the amount of line that you want on a BFS reel. But anyways, this has uh, gotten a little long in the tooth and kind of a little nerdy. I, I really apologize for that. I didn't mean to make this uh, kind of dry, but I do want to hold reel manufacturers and in all fishing equipment or fishing gear manufacturers kind of accountable for what they're reporting. So, you know, take this for what it is. If you guys wanna help out, make this database a little more full and add reels so that uh, you know we can have handle turns to 50 meters, then uh, please leave me a comment in the comment sections below or you can email me at rnr, the number four, 
roo at gmail.com. And I'd be more than happy to, you know, get your, your reels gear ratio. And then also if you can measure that inner spool diameter with a pair of calipers, then I'd be more than happy to help add to this uh, database of sorts. But anyways, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.